Master Van Tour, starting on the outside. <laughs> Starting with the back, the Yakima Swivel Bike Rack. You have your bikes on it, it opens up like this. The lock can come around. Underneath, 25 gallon water tank. This can be filled up with a normal household. Tent for a bathroom or outdoor shower. There is a projector screen in here. A couple crates. Your Gold Zero 3000 watt battery. Snow shovel, broom, small rake, a little hose for draining, and an extra cooler for any additional drinks. Storage. There is also underneath a battery powered light with LED light strip that goes across. You might not be able to see it. There's the front brush guard here. There are two holes on either side. I do have LED lights that can go on here and will be included with the van. You have the hood bra, Yakima wind deflector, and the running boards underneath the sink here. It's a hose valve where you can turn and have direct water coming out. If you close that, it will run down and go to your five gallon gray water tank in the back. To drain the gray water tank, there is another hose valve right here that all you have to do is turn this knob and it would start coming out here. You can also connect this to a small hose if you are at a campground and put it directly into their drain. On the back left side here is your shore power. All you'd have to do is plug in your extension cord into the power box and trade off one cord in your goal zero to charge your goal zero and still use the entire van. We have a cedar roof there that can extend. It is ready for another stain as it's very weathered. Here's the original color that sits back. So you can put pillows and lay back here. Locking it back up. You have your traction boards that have been zip tied up here. Aluminum roof rack. There's LED light cable. Two 100 watt solar panels. And the Air Max exhaust fan. Start going in the van. There's also, for when it's raining, up top here to catch the rain instead of it dripping inside the van. Your screen. There is an outlet right here, a single outlet for your LED lights up here or any outdoor lighting. There's also a coat rack coming around. We'll start with the floor. Storage underneath. Storage under here as well. There's a little outdoor solar light, some extra bungee cords, hammock, emergency light kit, little mini shovel, bug spray, zip ties, and additional storage behind here. You also have about nine, 10 outlets back here with USB ports. Behind the driver's seat is where we keep the broom, um, anything tall. There's a walking stick, umbrella, uh, you have a spice rack here. This is a cedar handle that's actually a dimmer for the light here. I'll turn that on. This is connected to the van battery. So even if you ran out of solar, you would still have some light. Also another light here. Again, on a dimmer switch. Opening up some of the cabinets. Coffee mugs that can go right here. Bowls, plates, these are all soft closed drawers. So if they come up open while you're driving, it'll sit like that and then close itself quietly. Silverware, lighter, some candles, measuring tape, flashlight, glasses, pour over coffee maker, paperless towels. Opening up the drawers here, a trash can. Behind the trash can is your propane tank. 
Below the propane tank is a propane detector. If there's any leaks, it will start beeping. Pots and pans, cleaning sprays. Below here is your foot pump. So if you need access, if anything goes wrong, just undo the screws, pop this off, and you can get to your foot pump. Putting up the sink. Copper sink installed through beach stone. And drain. We have two bins up here, for vegetables or fruits. Opening up the first cabinet. This is where your solar is coming in. Access to go through there if you need to install any additional electrical components. All cabinets, locking springs, magnets, and your brass bar in case anything's to open, keeps your food in place. There's a curved back wall here, trying to maximize the space. The entire van is spray foamed. All the upper cabinets have these springs and magnets, as well as the fridge. Each cabinet above the bed is a little bit smaller than other people's. It's about 10 inches right there. Comes out 12 inches, but it gives you a lot more space from your head to the top of the cabinet. Bungee cords here, just for additional support. If these ever pop open, your clothes fall out, it'll be a little frustrating. So we keep these when we're driving. So you have muddy boots on and you wanted to get a shirt, but you don't want to climb on the bed to close it. I keep a little pole here, quick tap. You have a little shelf here and behind it, there is some storage space as well as below that won't drop down behind the bed. Underneath the couch, you have the Dometic fridge fridge side, freezer side, both can be interchangeable. They can be both a fridge, both a freezer, however you'd want to do it. You can set the temperature on the side. Looking in, you can even see the goal zero and check on the power, see how much solar you're getting, how much is going out, etc. There's a little tray here, the bed. storage on both sides. Both have a bin in there. What we would do is keep our winter clothes here, warmer clothes up top, or we would cycle clothes depending on the climate we were in. There's outlets and USB ports in the back. On this side, there is an outlet behind the Marshall speaker in this cabinet and this cabinet, as well as an outlet on this side for your TV. Lagoon table swivels out. And bring this around. And underneath this seat is your toilet, the Dometic toilet, and a little added space on the side for toilet paper. We have coffee for smell. There's also a screen curtain here as well that if you don't prefer this screen, you can install this one very easily, the copper rod above. When the sliding door opens, there's actually a light here that we saved. Often people just cover this up, but we put a plant here, a little fake plant, just to kind of hide it. But the light does shine through a little bit, giving you a nightlight if you come in at night. Opening up this drawer here, there's two little sliders, which the tray can sit on as well to give you an extra table or more cooking space. Curtains in the back, you have the thermal curtains on the outside, the thermal curtains under the bed, and your screen curtains in the center. Just to give you an idea of the space. It's a comfortable seating spot here. The front seat up here. I'm around 5'9", to give you reference of the ceiling height and the driver's seat. Because of the spice rack and the additional counter space, there isn't that much more room for the seat to come back. Um, if you're much taller, you may need to think about moving this up a couple inches. But as for my height, it works perfectly. Because of the electrical here connected to the goal zero, you could replace this faucet, put in a hot water heater, 
bore an electrical pump, connect the faucet to a shower hose, bring it right up here. You could put in your curtains and below there's a drain. All you'd have to do would be to drill out right here. We've already put a single hole underneath so you can know where it is if you needed to add a shower. This floor is the original floor. It's supposed to be scratch resistant. It's waterproof. All you'd have to do is do a silicone caulking around the outside to make your entire floor waterproof. Window sill has your Bluetooth speaker, extra candle, and some solar lights to do a candle flicker. The window, like all three windows in the van, you slide and have a built-in screen that also can be opened as well. Thermal insulated curtains, lock out the light. It's your max air fan. This is an exhaust only fan. And leaving the fan open and on. You can crack a window over your head on the bed, pulling out the air by the fan and pulling in the air over you as you sleep. Bungee cord with hooks up here is where we mounted the surfboard in case you had something like that. It's a great spot to get it away. It does bring down your headroom a little bit, but overall the surfboard only came to about here, which gave you still plenty of space around the kitchen to stand up straight. In the front, both have swivel seats that lock at angles. With a red lever from all the way around. Under this cabinet here, forgot to show. There's also LED light under here. Storage up top. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you hadn't noticed, we do sell an ebook for how to convert a van. It has over 190 pages of detailed instructions and diagrams. Also 25 video tutorials, which are specifically for the ebook buyer. Creating a van for many people is obviously a really intimidating project, but I really believe, and I've seen it time and time and time again, that with the right information, anyone can turn out with a pretty decent van conversion. So check the link in the description, subscribe to the channel if you are not already, uh, and drop us a comment if you like this video. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next week.